Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Joy Bettenhausen. The cloud cover has been sticking around for a few days. We're not going to get rid of that. We're going to start to see some rain increase in our viewing area. Today, a couple of showers, mainly our southern counties. Tomorrow, that chance will increase as those showers move from south to north. Maybe could see an isolated storm or two, although this should be primarily a rain event. Rain moves out early Friday morning. We're left with a little bit of cloud cover, but clouds should be decreasing. Here's what we're looking at right now. This low pressure system slowly moving northward. Right now, just sitting south near Missouri and Arkansas. High pressure that was over us a couple of days ago skirted east. So now we're going to be under that influence of that low pressure. What's expected over the next day or so is that low pressure will continue to slowly dive northward. This will take a day or two as it does come up north. That's going to increase our rain chance throughout the, the night tonight, the day tomorrow, and finally done on Friday. Also notice this low pressure trough high up in the atmosphere. That's starting to strengthen. It'll eventually be over eastern Iowa, but that's in the matter of a couple of days or so. So as that low pressure system moves northward, it's taking some gulf moisture with it. So we're going to see our dew points increase today around 60 degrees, but tomorrow right around the mid 60s, signaling just a little bit more moisture in the atmosphere. That's going to fuel some of our showers. So for today, Really not expecting a whole lot in terms of rain. Our shower chance will be in our far southern counties. That's 5 o'clock now. Remember, this should be just a rain event. Can't rule out an isolated storm, although severe weather is not expected. Rain will continue throughout the overnight on the lighter side, though, and watch this rain chance starts to shift northward throughout Thursday morning. This will become a more scattered chance of rain. Still, everyone's not going to see it, but we do have that chance area-wide. Now, Thursday at noon, it kind of a little bit of a lull, but then we'll get a no more concentration of showers pushing northward. That's 7 o'clock, so you might encounter a little bit of rain on your way home from work on Thursday. Rain continues through Thursday night, Friday morning, although very light, and then we should be done by Friday morning altogether. Most of the viewing area, if you see rain, it should only add up to about a couple hundredths of an inch. But since we are pumping in some gulf moisture, and if these showers move over the same location and move slowly, they could add up to about a half an inch in a couple of spots. Today's highs, we're looking at low to mid 70s. Notice still warmer than normal. Normal high right now, 68 degrees. We'll keep that shower chance. Tonight, we're dropping down to the low to mid 60s, so still staying in the 60s in the overnight, not cooling down very much. City by city forecast shows Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City. Low 70s for highs Thursdays, Thursday as everyone has a chance for rain. Friday, skies start to clear, temperatures rise. Saturday still looking to be the warmest day in the 10-day forecast where highs could approach the low to mid 80s. Next chance of rain comes Sunday morning. Now it looks like we could see some storms to start off next work week.